What's up NASCAR Heat fans, David Land here and we are ready for Talladega. This will be my first video on Talladega since they patched the plate racing to improve it a little bit. It's not perfect, but we are going to see some pretty big packs, two and three wide racing in this race. And as you're taking a look at, uh, after a la last couple of races, last couple of short tracks where I've had top five finishes, uh, we are seventh in the chase standings and about to legitimately break our way up into the chase uh, in terms of points as well. So all around, we're having a really good season so far. Uh, but obviously, as you can see at Talladega, we call qualify 40th as pretty much everybody in this game does uh, in the play tracks because it's impossible to qualify anything but 40th uh, but we'll be able to fight our way up through the field hopefully we will have a safe fun exciting race and hopefully by the end of this thing we'll be parking it in victory lane there's almost three hundred thousand dollars on the line to win the here at talladega so let's head over to rick allen in the uh, not so nbc sports booth and let's get the talladega 500 underway at 2.66 miles talladega super speedway is the largest track on the nascar circuit Every inch of this track is packed with tight racing and the possibility of the big one right around every turn. The drivers dread the uncertainty that Talladega provides, but the fans love every minute of the close racing. This is Talladega. There's no place quite like it. So yes, Dega. We're starting on the outside of Matt De Benedetto here. We've got a couple of Hendrick cars here in the back as well with us with Chase Elliott and Casey Kane. Let's take a look at the uh, standings there as we jump into line. Now in NASCAR Heat, now that they've patched the, uh, the plate racing, it is absolutely a priority to stay in line. Find a line that works, generally it's the bottom, and stick with it. So we're going to stay here on the bottom. De Benedetto is going to move to the top of the track. We're going to get in behind Kane, get a big draft on the back straightaway. Move inside of Kane as well. And I'm going to bail out of it, not make it three wide this early in the race, especially on lap one with Chase Elliott and Chris Buescher. We'll stay on the bottom here and let the uh, bottom lane do its work because I think the bottom lane is usually always the best as I get off of it here just a little bit. And we're going to go in the center, I guess. We'll go around the outside. Try to of Chase Elliott. We're in between Elliott and retired Scott. But we'll make that pass work through the middle. Kind of surprising I was able to pull that off. But hey, fair play. Scott moves in behind me. In fact, he may take the bottom away from me. I may get hung out to dry here. Nope, I'm going to get back to the bottom. Be able to get behind Chase Elliott once again. And actually... I'm going to be able to make that three wide move this time because Chase Elliott made a mistake by moving up a lane here into turn number three. And we'll get around Chase Elliott despite the fact that I believe we're three wide on the bottom. We're absolutely three wide on the bottom as we go underneath David Reagan and Matt Kenseth. Why on earth Kenseth is back here on a plate track? I'll never understand that. Then again, maybe he's just lying in wait for the end of this race. And we'll make a move around... Uh, Michael Annette there. I almost called him Michael Scott. I don't know why I'm thinking of Office references. I barely even watched that show. But, uh, well, I don't know what's going to go happen here. There's three wide there. And the field is really spreading out. Unlike, unlike Daytona, we are not seeing very good packs forming here. Kind of unfortunate. But, oh, well, we'll have to deal with it the way we go. And now this is four wide. <laughs> That's not really what I wanted to be doing. With Landon Castle making the big move up near the top. We'll try to get around Danica here. That is not going to work quite as well as I would have hoped. Because I thought Mike Lynette was going to sneak in to the inside, but he did not. So we'll try to go around all the way to the outside of Landon Castle. Sure, why not? Make that pass. We've also got a duck car there for Tony Stewart. I haven't seen that paint scheme before. I think that may have been from one of the very, very last DLC packs they released. Uh, that was free, by the way, so that's why I have it. In fact, in this Let's Play, I haven't seen a Bush scheme either for Kevin Harvick. I think I've only seen his Jimmy John scheme, so why he hasn't been running the Bush scheme in the races, I do not know. Maybe the AI cars are not allowed to carry the Bush scheme. We're moving around Jamie McFlurry, and uh, 
The winner at Richmond got into me, but I think that was more because A.J. Allmendinger was down to the inside of him. Uh, so I was about to complain about Jamie McMurray's driving, but uh, it looks like uh, maybe I should have, or I uh, spoke just uh, soon enough that I did not uh, completely throw him under the bus. Dale Earnhardt Jr. coming into the pits. So Jr. will not win at Dega unless he's trying some really harebrained strategy. So the beer cans are about to start raining. The, the weather forecast in Talladega is for beer cans because Dale Jr. is out of the Talladega 500 early on in the going. So we're settling in here and hopefully we can catch that pack up in front. All right, we side drafted around Newman there. We're now heading into turn number three with a big draft off of Paul Menard, which should allow us to slingshot into this pack here. Let's see if we can pull it off as we get behind this bright yellow Menard's car. Fluorescent yellow. And around the outside, he's actually in an alternate scheme as well. A, uh, a blue, a little bit more black and blue on that car than normally we would see, but we're around Paul Menard. He's in a Moen car. Looks like Moen is on the, uh, the roof, if I can read backwards properly. And now we're coming up behind Recky Stenhouse Jr., who's another guy we raced with, along with Jamie McFlurry at uh, Richmond. And a big draft off of Stenhouse. And we should be around him as well here in just a second, if we can get that draft working properly. We're moving our way up through the field quite nicely. Um, I'm happy to see a report that we're within the top 20 on pace, which is good, considering plate tracks are uh, majority about horsepower and, of course, aerodynamics, but I think it's a little more horsepower oriented when you're kind of fighting against the restrictor plate when it's not really a pack race like this seems to be. And we're trying to get around Stenhouse. We didn't quite clear him going into turn number one. And running side by side is not really going to help because, of course, as I've said a few times in this video already, the bottom lane is the quick one, but we got a draft off of Trevor Bain. That's going to get us around Stenhouse. So into the big pack we are coming. And this will be interesting to see if we can uh, dispatch of these guys fairly quickly as well. Big draft behind Trevor Bain. Which way is he going to choose to go? He's going to go the immediate bottom, as far far down as he can go. We're going to go three wide with Clint Boyer and Al Marola. There was a car coming into the pits. It may have been Joey Logano. It was a yellow car, but um, when I'm in the middle three wide, I'm not going to look too hard at uh, which, uh, which of my competition is pitting. We're trying to break into the top ten here on pace at Talladega, which is exceptional. Uh, you may be wondering about sponsors. The only sponsor I did not choose uh, for this race was the fastest lap because in no way a 51 second lap is going to cut the fastest lap. And we're going to go four wide here into turn three. Can we make it work? Yes, we can. There's enough space for that here at Talladega. Too bad I didn't have a good enough run to really make a good move there. So we'll break up into the top ten as cars are coming into the pits. I almost got spun by the the Dillons here. I guess not technically the Dillons. Now we're fighting for the lead. We're fighting for the lead with the 3 and the 13 car. But yeah, all my sponsors are oriented to pay out uh, top 5 and below. So I think I'm 5, 15, 10, and 20 as the places that are going to pay money. Pay me the big bucks. And right now we're fighting for the lead of the race. So you guys know what the battle is. We've got 5 laps to go on the fuel. So we are good on fuel. For a while, we're three wide for the lead here at Talladega. It's probably not going to matter because these guys are probably going to pit. They're probably getting horrible mileage for whatever reason. So we'll just draft Dylan as long as we can, and then it's going to be a bit of a hold on and hope and pray that the fa that the uh, that the fuel mileage race works out. So we're going to try to lead a lap here. It looks like. Mears is going to make that incredibly difficult, but he's going to back off just a little bit, and we will take the lead here at Talladega. 37 laps to go, and we are last.
So unfortunately, this is where the recording screws up, and unfortunately, that is all I can show you of this race. I ended up finishing 7th after dominating the race, but as I came into the pits uh, for my final stop, the game decided to have a glitch. The yellow came out while I was in the pits, which caused all sorts of mayhem, a 20-minute long caution where I was stuck in the caution menu. Uh, and once we finally got back to green, it put Chase Elliott a lap ahead of the field which made it impossible for me to make my uh, distance back up on him so Elliot won the race uh, and I finished seventh and as you can take a look uh, though that seventh place finish did bring me into eighth place into the uh, chase standings and in terms of the overall point standings I'm 13th overall but that's not a bad not a bad race for me but uh, probably not that great for you guys so I'll make you a deal later on today maybe by the time you are watching this we're gonna have another video up a 2017 car set uh, race at Talladega gonna be the same length as this one was uh, the only difference is gonna be uh, that I'm gonna run the uh, race on uh, normal tire and fuel wear so that will allow hopefully the pack to stay together for the entire race well here's hoping anyway so check out that video sorry this video kinda got cut off short hopefully that'll make up for it thank you guys so much for watching this has been David Land on YouTube and we'll see you in the next video